All right. Today we're going to talk about useless car accessories that cost more than they should, like these Aston Martin umbrellas. And I don't have any Aston Martins anymore, I just have these umbrellas. Uh, and these are expensive, and I don't know the exact pricing on them. I'm going to estimate the pricing to be somewhere in the five to $600 range. Uh, I do know that the Rolls-Royce umbrellas, the ones that pop out of the doors, not the best umbrellas, uh, but they cost about twelve dollars or $1,500, if I'm remembering correctly. Very substantially overpriced for what they are. Uh, interestingly enough, this umbrella has like a little drug pocket in it. You see, I, like, I don't understand what the concept is here. Unless you want to just like, unless you just want to use this so you can change it from Aston Martin to say Bentley or whatever else. But I don't think there's a giant market for uh, $500 or $600 umbrellas. And on top of that, I actually used this once and it doesn't really repel water, it sort of just breaks it up into smaller particles, so you don't really keep yourself dry. So if you're looking for an umbrella, there are much nicer ones, like Gus Buster or something like that. You can save yourself the money on these jammers. Um, and come with me. I've got other accessories. Now, there's, if you look at like the Ferraris, they all come with the car covers and everything like that. It's like 500 bucks for a Ferrari car cover, even used, I think. Um, with three or $400, you go on eBay, you can, you can fact check that. It's not really the biggest waste of money because it's got a horse on it and it's sized to the car. You can get aftermarket ones for like two or $300. So it sort of costs double to get the actual Ferrari ones, but I can sort of see why somebody's into that. The stuff that I don't see is the luggage sets. And there's people that get these luggage sets that never use them. It's gonna be dark in here, I'm warning you. Um, there's people that get luggage sets that don't use them and a uh, perfect example is I have a luggage set here. Look at that, this little storage closet here for McLaren. And here you go, this is a uh, McLaren MP412C. This is from, I believe, our white one way back when. And I have to just double check on the window sticker. But like, I'm not going to say it's not now. Oh, here's a front, uh, front plate frame. It's like branded McLaren. It's nice and soft in here. But I think it was like $3,500 or $4,000 4, $4, for this thing. And you'd expect the zipper to be a little bit smoother. Zipper's not exactly new technology. Uh, and then it comes in these like bags. Why is this bag so big? Because there's other pieces of luggage here. There's a, there's a bigger piece. And here's, an, here's another smaller piece. So you got the three pieces of McLaren luggage with carbon fiber handles and everything like that. It's, it's just, it's one of those things that you get just to say. And I, I thought I had a, uh, a window sticker with the option. You know what? I'm not going to keep you here while I look for that. Ian, show them the window sticker with the options. Uh, it's just sort of a waste of money. I mean, there's nothing that you're going to get out of a $3,000 luggage set or $4,000 luggage set that makes it worth it. And you go to these car shows, like when I was out of Pebble Beach, and the guy prominently displays that he bought his Ferrari luggage to go with the car. Such a waste of money. And Chevam's 355 right now doesn't even have the luggage, and they're trading for like $8,000 for the luggage sets. Now, you're talking something that nobody's ever going to use, doesn't provide any value, doesn't really mean or do anything. It just doesn't really exist. It's fairly rare because nobody actually ordered it. So, uh, some examples of silly options. If you guys know anything else that manufacturers or anyone sells, it's a completely like useless, overpriced, and silly option. Post it up below. Uh, these are the ones that I think of and come to mind because I sort of just have them here. Um, but this, there, I guarantee you, I assure you, there is much better and more usable luggage. This would probably be pretty heavy to carry. I mean, granted, if you're pulling up in a car or anything and you can afford this sort of luggage, Somebody else will probably carry it for you, uh, but something this size should probably have wheels, so you can just like wheel it along. So not the most thought out, but I don't think it was ever designed to be used. Catch you next time. Uh, let's see what you come up with in the comments below as sort of useless overpriced stuff that people sort of buy just to add onto the options list because they're just trying to be cooler than their neighbor. Catch you next time.